to give me your attention give me your ears pay strict attention to this video as we'll be reviewing chemistry past questions chemistry past questions if you are writing if you're a science student of course you know how important chemistry is as a subject now what i'll be doing for you here is answering these chemistry questions giving you the answers remember also that chemistry questions are into two we have the calculation side and the theoretical side chemistry has a lot of questions a lot of uh, questions that you don't necessarily need to you don't necessarily need to use calculator to solve now in this video we are going to be reviewing such questions such questions those ones that doesn't need calculation right there could be a video later on the calculation but this particular video we are looking at chemistry questions that doesn't require calculation we will not be going into questions that needs calculation we'll be looking at those that doesn't need calculation and in this particular question i'm looking at in this particular uh, material we have about 50 questions we have about 50 chemistry questions and 27 of them are those that you can solve with that calculator you can see that we have more questions every year coming from non-calculation aspect of chemistry than from the calculation aspect of chemistry let's look at number one which of the following is an example of mixture which of the following is an example of mixture a common salt b blood c sand d washing soda the answer is blood the answer is what blood the essence of giving you this uh, uh expo question is for you to watch this video this is see this part one there will be part two we'll be doing a lot of videos on chemistry for you because i've seen how crucial it is right so i want you to watch as many of the videos i drop for you on chemistry and the other subject as possible the more you watch the more likely you are to pass remember like i thought jump repeat questions but they will twist it okay let's look at this question four the droplets the droplets of water observed around a bottle of milk taken out of a refrigerator is due to the fact that the dash the, if you get a bottle of water from the fridge or freezer you will see droplets of water around that bottle the droplets of water observed around a bottle of milk taken out of the refrigerator is due to the fact that the dash a eh? water vapor in the air in the air around the bottle gains some energy from the bottle water vapor in the air around the bottle gains some energy from the from the bottle b temperature of the milk drops as it loses heat into the surrounding sea saturated vapor, vapor pressure of the milk is equal to the atmospheric pressure d water vapor in the air around the bottle loses some of its energy to the bottle the answer is d water vapor in the air in the air around the bottle loses some of its energy to the bottle so they announced because they lose those energy they are now stick to the bottle okay let's look at question number six we are jumping the calculation questions for now in this particular video okay moving from left to right across a period that's periodic table now periodic table moving from left to right across a period the general rise in the first ionization energy can be attributed to the dash moving from left to right across a period the general rise in the first ionization energy can be attributed to that a decrease in nuclear charge b increase in nuclear charge c decrease in screening effect d increase in screening effect the answer is b increase in screening effect when you get your chemistry uh, textbook of course you read up everything about the periodic table okay let's go to question number eight the stability of the noble gases 
of course, as a chemistry student, you know noble gases. The stability of the noble gases is due to the fact that the dash. The stability of the noble that is noble gases are stable. Now, now I want I want someone that can come under the comment and mention three noble gases for me. Mention three noble. That is your first assignment in this video. Remember, I have taught you over and over again. Whenever I am teaching and you see any question or any concept you don't understand, the essence is not for you to jump and pass. Some people will do sign of the cross and jump and pass. No. The important thing is for you to go and study. The reasons I'm giving you this video is to stimulate you, stimulate you to go and read further. I want you to pass. Our goal in this channel is 300 and above. Do you claim it? 300 and above. You will not be among those that will fail. Many people will fail, oh. As at the time I'm recording this video, within, in less than one month, JAM has registered over 1.2 million candidates. And I know before the end of registration, more number will register. And in that number, hundreds of thousands will fail JAM. But it is not your portion. You will not be among them. You will be among those that will come back to me with a testimony. You will be among those that will get admission this year. But then I need you to sit down and study. You as a science student, you need to do putting extra effort. Number eight, the stability of the noble gases. So they mention the noble gases. Mention at least three or all of them. The stability of the noble gases is due to the fact that they A, have no electron in the atomic shell. B, have droplets or octet electron configuration. C, belong to group zero of the periodic table. D, are volatile in nature. The answer is B, have duplet or octet electron configurations. Okay, let's look at question number nine. I hope you are with me. Let's look at question number nine. The maximum number of electrons in the L shell of an atom is called is dash. The maximum number of electrons in the L shell of an atom is dash A, 2, B, 8, C, 18, D, 32. We are looking at question number 9. The answer is 8. The answer is what? 8. The L shell, you know, you know the, the shell configuration. Okay, as a this is part of SS1 work. The answer is eight. That is option B. Let's look at question number 10. Elements in the same period in the periodic table have the same dash. Elements in the same period in the periodic table have the same dash. A. Elements in the same period in the periodic table. Elements in the same period, in the periodic table, have the same dash. A. Number of shells. B. Atomic number. C. Chemical properties. D. Physical properties. Let me take it again. Elements in the same period, in the periodic table, have the same. A. Number of shells. B. Atomic number. C. Chemical properties. D. Physical properties. This not the same. The answer is number of shells. Number of shells. Number of shells. Number of shells. Elements in the same period in the periodic table have the same number of shells. Okay. Let's look at question number twelve. We are jumping questions involving calculation in this particular video. Okay. We will still do a video on calculations. A noble gas with a high power of fog penetration used in aerodrome. Aerodrome beacons is dash. A noble gas with a high power of fog penetration used in aerodrome beacons is dash. The options we have are krypton, B, argon, C, helium, D, neon. The answer is A, krypton. You see the noble gas I was even asking you is already here okay let's look at question number 13 and see if there's anything we can learn there i hope you are following if you watch this particular video from here to the end of this video you will qualify for a gift that gift is i'll give you free jam pass question 
on use on on chemistry i will give you free jam syllabus on chemistry i will also give you free jam pass question free jam syllabus on the other three subjects we'll be writing so just watch follow me as we uh, uh, analyze this video from now till the end for you to qualify to get the material number 13 permanent hardness of water can be removed by permanent hardness of water can be removed you know there's temporal hardness and permanent hardness i want you to second assignment come under the comment of this video and tell me what does meaning of hardness of water okay permanent hardness of water can be removed by a filtration b adding select lime c adding caustic soda d boiling permanent hardness of water can be removed by a filtration b adding select lime c adding caustic soda d boiling the answer is c the answer is c adding caustic soda soda i mean let's look at question number 14 substance employed as drying agents are usually dash substances employed as drying agents are usually dash a amphoteric b hydroscopic c Afro, a fluorescent d acidic remember what i said earlier don't jump and pass we have option a af amphoteric b hydroscopic c afluorescent so i want to give you another third assignment go under the comment and tell me the meaning of afoteric amphoteric sentence then hydroscopic sentence then c afrolicent sentence remember don't tell me that i'm giving you too much pressure this is exam you are preparing for i am seriously preparing you for this so go and read up ask google or your textbook on the meaning of these three subject substances amphoteric substance hydroscopic substance a fluorescent substance then come under the comment and tell me what you'll find to be their meaning very very crucial very very important right okay now the answer of question 14 is b is what b substances employed as drying agents are usually hydroscopic substance by the time you tell me the definition of three of this concept you will know why it is so okay let's look at question number 16 question number what are you following are you learning let's look at question number 16 coffee coffee contains coffee stains stains coffee stains can best be removed by coffee stains can best be removed by a kerosene b topetine c a solution of borax in water d ammonia solution coffee stains can best be removed by the answer is d ammonia solutions ammonia solution these things i am saying don't just watch for watching sake it takes me a lot to create this video and upload for you every day so i don't want you to jump and pass ensure you are paying attention and reading okay question 17 carbon 2 oxide is considered dangerous if inhaled mainly because you can inhale you can you, you cannot in, you are not permitted to inhale carbon 2 oxide carbon 2 oxide is considered dangerous if inhaled that if taken in to the body mainly because a it can cause injury to the nervous system b competes with oxygen in the blood c competes with carbon 4 oxide in the blood d can cause long answer what is the answer the answer is b it competes with oxygen in your blood it comp i want these things i'm saying to stick to your memory okay now let's look at question number 18 18 the acid that is used to remove rust i hope you know what is rust rust somebody define rust for me in the comment section and the conditions that must be present for rust to take place there are certain conditions that must be present for rusting like your like your zinc right 
it rusts the zinc on the roof before aluminum. There's ornel. There are some conditions that must be present before before rusting can take place. Somebody define rusting for me and tell me those conditions. I'm giving you as an assignment, preparing you. Okay. This the acid that is used to remove rust is dash A, boric acid B, hydrochloric acid C, trisonitrate acid D, tetraoxosulfate acid. The answer is B, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Okay. Now, the next question we will look at is question number 20. The color of the methyl orange in alkaline medium is dash. The color of the methyl orange in alkaline medium is dash. A, yellow, B, pink, C, orange, D, red. When we come to the next video, we will continue from question number 20. That is, what you are watching now is part one. In part two of the past questions, eight four questions on, lake, on, uh, on uh, chemistry, we will continue from question number 20. So don't go nowhere. Remember that we have done a lot of videos on other subjects. Do you want me to give you the link, free link to other videos we have done, like on... Uh, on use of english on biology on mathematics on lucky head master if you want me just indicate the subject and tell me to give you the link to those videos we have done a lot of videos on lucky head master reading it giving you expo questions if you need them just indicate tell me to give you free there's there's paid version of, but for you watching this particular video to this point i can give it to you free just indicate the subject and uh, tell me to give you the link now for you to get free jam syllable, free jam pass question, just do this for thing. Join our YouTube channel, very important. It's a must. Find a way, a, a, a link in our channel. Click on join, join our YouTube channel. Then, uh, then like this video, boop the like button, then share this video. How do you share? Just click on share, share it on YouTube, then copy the link, share on all the WhatsApp groups you belong to, all the X groups, all the Facebook groups, Instagram, Snapchat, just share all the groups that jam candidates are and your colleagues writing jam also wayek then then very importantly subscribe to our youtube channel subscribe to our youtube channel noble tutorials subscribe to our youtube channel noble tutorials when you subscribe come under the comment of this video and type i have subscribed i have subscribed once i see you type i subscribe i'll chat you up and send you those materials but remember you must have done the assignment i gave you because they are very important right there's a video i'm leaving for you on the screen click on it and watch now <laughs>